Okay, when I'm looking at this, I'm looking for what can I add or subtract first? And I see it a positive four here, so that means I need to subtract the four from both sides of the inequality. That's gonna leave me with one third X is greater than or equal to eight. If this was 3x, we would multiply, or we divide the 3, but instead it's 1 third x. That means we need to multiply by its opposite. The opposite of 1 third is 3 over 1. And when I multiply it on the right side, I can leave the 1 invisible because I'm not multiplying it by a fraction. So on the left side, 3 over 1 times 1 third is going to give me that invisible positive 1 that I want. So I have x is greater than or equal to 24, because 8 times 3 is 24. All of these problems, if you notice, have the same numbers, but the negatives are in different places, which is what makes them a little bit challenging. Over here, I'm looking, what can I add or subtract? And I have a negative 4, so that means I'm going to add 4. And if I do it on the left side of the inequality, I also have to do it on the right. That's again leaving me with one third x is greater than or equal to, this time I'm getting 16. To get that x by itself, I need to multiply by the opposite. The opposite of one third is again 3 over 1. I don't have to make it 3 over 1 on the right side because I'm multiplying whole number and I can leave the 1 invisible here. That's going to be x is greater than or equal to, yep, I had to do it on my calculator. 16 times 3 is not a math fact I have memorized. And that leaves us with one more problem down here. We're back to having a positive 4, so our first step is going to be to subtract. subtract the 4. This time, the fraction isn't positive, it's negative, so we need to make sure we keep that with it. It's greater than or equal to 8. I'm going to multiply by the opposite of negative 1 third. The opposite of that is negative 3 over 1. That means on the right side, I'm multiplying also by negative 3, which really is negative 3 over that invisible 1. <coughs> negative times negative gives us our positive, and it's an invisible 1. Because we're multiplying by a negative, what has to happen with the symbol? It flips. And 8 times negative 3 gives us negative 24. Okay, so it might have looked a little bit more confusing, but you guys have all of this information, just take it step by step, okay?